talk to people with autism, you talk to families and you realise and you watch the interaction with children, um, a lot of what happens in the world is quite frightening and is, is, is quite scary and is threatening. Whereas dogs actually can be incredibly a calming influence on people. Mm -hmm. Some of the autism treatments demand an awful lot of parents. So something that doesn't require an awful lot of maintenance, like having a dog in the family, we think is, is really quite an attractive um, proposition. When you've got a child worried and anxious, we don't want to go, what's wrong, what's wrong? But we might want to add in a little fun trick. Oh, is she? Oh, good girl. Thanks, push. Good. That was easy. There's been a lot of anecdotal research around uh, children and autism showing that dogs have a severe impact in a very positive way. But there's never really been a, a major study uh, with, with more than, than, than just a few families. And what we've been able to do through PAUSE is to carry out a, a very sizable research. For some of you with dogs, you know, you've got a lovely relationship between your child and dog. Dogs that are disabled. They already had a programme whereby they were trying to train dogs to help families uh, in this situation. And what they really wanted to know was sort of, well, is this having a meaningful impact on, on things or not? We recruited people from, from the programme and uh, completed a number of surveys. And these surveys all sort of assess different functions. So some of them assess the child, some of them assess the parents uh, and the interactions that occur between them. Over a period of time we looked at what changes there were after the family got a dog. We had another group that didn't get a dog and compare the two groups. There, pick it up. Yeah. Oak has got autism. He was diagnosed about two and three quarters. He lost all his speech, all his contact. Um, he didn't want to be picked up. It was all quite drastic, really. Um, and at which point we looked into all different kinds of therapies, um, but we realised that he had a connection with animals. So we got Boogie. <laughs> There's certain things that we wanted Boogie to help us with. Um, Oak finds transition, transitions very difficult. So coming down the stairs and getting changed is a big, big thing. Boogie, bless him, we taught him to pick out some clothes and bring them down. When you've got a child on the spectrum, we spend so much time on therapies and trying to teach them this, trying to teach that, that we kind of forget to have fun sometimes. And the whole point of having the dogs is for Oak to have fun. Josh is 12, he has Asperger's. I think he, it's good for him to have a, like a companion that he can come home to. The first thing he does in the morning is he, he cuddles Miri and when he gets back from school the same. And sometimes when he's feeling low, uh, Miri will come to him and I think it's quite comforting for him. <laughs> Routine is really good Go for Joshua. There's lots of different aspects that make it good for us as a family to have Miri. There's a couple of interesting results that have come out. The first is that there seems to be a major effect on the stress levels of the parent. It's been a good family focus for all of us. It's nice to take um, Miri out for walks. It's a good way to let off steam and to get out and to sort of take the focus away from the problem. There is one other measure that we've got and it makes a lot of sense. What we've seen is a reduction in separation anxiety in the child. Like, I don't have that much friends, so Mary's like my friend. 
Like, come um, play with her and feed her and take her for walks. And it's just like having a friend, but you can't talk to, so they can't, like, say bad things about you or anything. Talking to families, it's very clear that the benefits of a dog are, are enormous. And it tends not to be huge, mega big things that are changing people's lives, but lots of very small incremental things that add up to a massive increase in the quality of family life. Really long. Really big one. Go on. Whoa! I shouldn't really say this, I'm not particularly a dog person, but I've come to love them through the course of this project.